And we are back with a Consumer Confidential that's all about jobs. Just out this morning, the latest numbers reveal that nearly 780,000 people applied for unemployment benefits last week. But there are industries that are hiring. LinkedIn identified the top jobs on the rise right now. And here to share some of the findings is LinkedIn's editor-in-chief, Dan Roth. Dan, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Oh, it's nice to have you because, I mean, there, there are so many industries that have been impacted severely by the pandemic. So a lot of folks want to switch industries altogether. But how can you identify what your skills are and if they're transferable to another job? Well, I think, number one, you have to actually realize that you have these skills. It's really uh, people think about their job as being I work at this company or I work in this industry. We are all a collection of skills that we do every day. And what employers are looking for is, do you have those skills? Can you apply them to my company or my industry or where we want to go? So first, know what skills you have. You have to really think carefully about it. And then look at where the industries are growing. There are places hiring. So uh, e-commerce is hiring right now. Anyone in the medical profession where they are trying to digitize their entire process, hiring. Mortgage processing is hiring. And they need people who are uh, who can talk, who can communicate, who are good with data entry, who can tell stories, who can uh, think mm-hmm. through uh, digital processes. There's a lot of demand for these skills, and everyone, oh, so many people have them, and they just don't think outside their industries. Let's tackle the list that you have here at the top of the list on LinkedIn's Jobs on the Rise. I guess no surprise that it's professionals on the front lines of e-commerce. What kinds of roles do these entail? Well, anything that involves getting something from a store into your home without you having to go, that is in (laughs) such demand. People don't want, you know, we're all stuck. I'm here in my attic. We're all stuck at home these days. And if someone could actually bring you something, that is it. So it could be anything from like a high-end shopper to Instacart, people who are going and and getting this done. Personal shoppers, huge demand for that uh, sort of area. And then anything in the delivery or logistics space. Every single company, small businesses to Amazons, are all now delivery and logistics companies, and they need people to help them get their wares to their customers. Okay, so next on the list, you've got the loan and mortgage experts. So do you, do you need to have specialized skills if you haven't done this before? Uh, you really don't. This is mortgage companies are really trying to hire people who are good at customer support, who can learn. They can train you how to deal with the mortgages, but they know they need people who can go out and hunt for uh, 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 customers who can process these claims. They can work you through the system, but you have to be good at data entry is a good example. You have to be good with numbers. But uh, mortgage companies have learned in the booms and busts that they've gone through how to get people in the door. If they have certain skills that tell them that they can work with customers, they can train you on the rest. Good jobs to be in right now. All right. After loan and mortgage coming in third here, healthcare supporting staff. How has this field expanded to open up to folks with a range of skills? Yeah, totally. So telemedicine has been one of these things that everyone talks about as being the future. In the last year, we have discovered that telemedicine is uh, is something that we have to have. And contact tracing. These are these are jobs that uh-huh. didn't exist before the pandemic. There is demand for people who can do those kind of jobs. Those are also good jobs. You don't have to have a higher degree. You just have to be able to work with people. Um, and I, you know, you, you watch doctors now getting paid for doing these telemedicine calls. They need the support to digitize their entire process to deal with the intake of, of, uh, of patients. Those are all jobs that are open and they're new. You don't have people who have done these things for hmm. years and years that you're competing against. You can make the case for why whatever you did in travel, if that industry is gone or yeah. shrunken, you can do that now in medical. Dan, this one doesn't fall into the top three, but, but this is a job that gained a lot more attention um, after the Black Lives Matter protests over the summer during last spring. What can you tell us about companies that are hiring workplace diversity experts. Yeah, huge, huge demand for this. We saw something like a 91% increase in demand for DEI jobs in the last year. Companies after the killing of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, companies were really realized that they had to play a role in racial inequality and solving some of these racial wealth gaps. And they need to know how to do it. They need to know how to hire something that companies have not been on the forefront uh, of in the past. Now they're hiring DEI experts to help them and their workforces do a much better job of being diverse, of surrounding themselves with diversity because it makes their companies better. It's where their customers are. They have to know how to be able to do this sort of thing. Really quickly, Dan, DEI, I know diversity. I know equity and inclusion. Equity right? and inclusion. Oh. That's right. That, Sorry. Yes. That was great. That Thank you, Dan. That was great. Very the nicest attic that. I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> is it real? <laughs> is that real or is that like a full background? No, his attic. This is real. That is the nicest. Nice. Yeah. 
the, the lighting. It is nice in the picture. I go to that attic. I'm like thinking about decorating my whole <laughs> place based on your attic. Dan, thank, thank you so you much. Thanks for your attic. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.